Hi, this is PR Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report sponsored by Delta.Exchange and Tradex.Line. Today, I am flying back from Singapore to Chennai. So, I am actually waiting at the airport. So, that's why no video today, only the audio podcast. But from tomorrow, we will resume our video. So, what a market today. It was a dramatic market. And Nifty has already fallen about 800 points in last four trading session. On top of which today, GIF Nifty indicated about 400 point gap down. Uh, in fact, you know, 400 is the maximum gap down as far as I remember, even in case of Russia-Ukraine war or Brexit or all those problems. But that was, you know, very, very terrible. And the news is that, you know, Israel attacked Iran. There was an unconfirmed report actually. So the news came that there was some explosion in Iran. So the things were not very clear whether it was done by Israel or uh, how it has been done, you know. So the things were not very clear, but the markets were reacting negatively all over the world. I was a little bit convinced that this cannot be, you know, a bigger war. See, uh, if you want to attack an enemy, no, you will be going with a full force. You have seen how Iran has uh, sent the missiles to uh, Israel. It's not one missile or two missiles. You know, 200, 300 missiles at the same time. But there was no such report of Israel's, you know, too many missiles are uh, launched towards Iran and this and that. So later there was some report that said, you know, uh, Iran has actually shot the three uh, drones, uh, probably sent by Israel. And then that was the reason for the explosion and this and that. So it was not a very big thing. And also Iran has played down the thing. So Iran is not likely to retaliate. Actually, a few days before, that's what we also thought that Israel would not retaliate. So markets are very, very clearly in a panic mode. But before the market opens, you know, there was some kind of a small recovery even in US uh, futures and global markets. And moreover, since we have already fallen for four trading sessions, 800 points, you know, so definitely uh, domestic institutions would have been active from the first minute, you know, so they do not want to, you know, the, at the end of the day, the responsibility of the local institutions is to stabilize and not creating panic on either side, either upside or downside. So we did not open 400 points indicated by GIF Nifty, but we opened around 300 points. We opened around 21,800. Then slowly market started recovering, not only in India, everywhere. But where India stands apart, though other markets recovered, but they are still trading in negative. Europe is still trading in negative. US futures are still trading in negative. But surprisingly here, Nifty shot up so much that Nifty has come into positive territory. Bank Nifty also positive territory. And mainly the rally was led by HDFC Bank. So this is so surprising. Ahead of the results, people are covering their shots. I think, you know, the market is expecting some kind of a good result from HDFC Bank. So otherwise, you know, there is no reason because between last quarter result, and now, the bank has already shot up about 10%. So that shows the confidence of the people. Other than that, you know, I don't know why Axis Bank has fallen so much. I think Axis Bank has fallen more than 10% in the last few trading sessions. IT, as expected, it was down, but uh, tried to recover from the lower levels. So it was only... Uh, Nifty and Bank Nifty that has done exceedingly well, whereas the broader markets, uh, they are, I think, mid cap, small cap, next 50, they are all slightly down only. So anyway, so this is just uh, seems to be a short covering rally, short covering triggered by the domestic institutions. So I'm, since I am my boarding flight very soon, uh, I will have no time to check the FAA data. So they are not out. So I'm sure uh, today uh, domestic institutions would have bought heavily to support the market. Now, I told you below 22,150, I said market is short. But 
from below 20 to 150 when it was broken yesterday it went all the way to 21 800 today and then now nifty has come and closed around 20 to 150 today so these are the choppy period uh, sometimes technicals may not be working very well during this kind of a choppy period so one good thing is that nifty no many times it has gone below 22,000, but uniformly came back and closed above 22,000. Many times it went above 22,500, but it came back and closed below 22,500. So uh, yesterday, the actual closing was slightly below 22,000, but weighted average closing was above 22,000. So once again, you know, uh, we are coming closer to the end of uh, the April series. So for the last four months, and Nifty has been trading between 22,000 and 22,500. Few times broke the downside, few times broke upside, but now again coming back to the same level. So I think this is going to uh, continue. Uh, looks like it will continue. But next week, you know, things can be different because, you know, just like uh, top seven stocks in India, the Hirtik stocks, uh, there are top seven stocks in US called Magnificent 7. Out of those 7 Magnificent stocks, 5 stocks will be coming out with results uh, next week. So US markets will be making a big move next week. Same thing here also, as I told you in the pre-market, uh, Reliance, Infosys uh, and uh, HDFC Bank. Of course, uh, HD, Reliance, uh, Infosys has already come, HDFC Bank tomorrow and Monday uh, Reliance. HDFC Bank and Reliance alone has about 25% weightage in Nifty. So the next few trading session is going to be very, very interesting. Will be guided by the corporate results. So anyway, today, Friday evening. So no need to look at the open interest this and that because, you know, when the war kind of news is there, nobody will like to carry positions home. So they will go with a very, very light position. So again, positions will be created on Monday. So today there is no point in looking at open interest and other things. So hope you enjoyed listening to this audio. Thank you for listening.